Pass or fail. So Brian Kanoff, why thumbs down? Um, it looks like the pipe at the bottom of the screen. It looks like there's not enough sand on the bottom side of that pipe. Not a bad observation. So it does have lead nokum. Why would the person be using lead nokum right there? Daily. That's what I'm used for uh, urino. Very good. It used to be up until last year, it was a requirement that if you were going to have a urinal, you had to use lead nokum joints. Now it's an option. So all those joints of lead nokum, and then we had a, what we call a point of dilution, and we went to no hub pipe with our elastomeric ceiling sleeves underground. Notice that there's no hangers on this portion. That's um, surface weight cast iron right here. No hangers because they're not required on surface weight underground. You're using no hub, um, and it's primarily because there's a couple things going on here. If you can guarantee 100% that the no hub piping has been placed on a trench bottom that's virgin, meaning it has never, ever been disturbed in any shape or manner, then you don't have to put A bands with threaded rod and F and M plates that are going to be part of the concrete slab pour. But you know what? 99.7% of the plumbers don't pay attention to the excavator when he or she is digging the trenches and they overdig trenches. And when you overdig trenches, especially with no hub, part of the no hub manufacturer's requirements are you will hang our pipe from the slab. So let that be a lesson to you. Overall, believe it or not, even though I would have liked to have seen a better installation of a trench, it wasn't all that bad. I've seen, if there was such a thing, a thousand percent worse. There are some good observations. You never want to have stone. You always want to be backfilled with clean fill. How much undisturbed, rock-free, stone-free fill has to be over the top of the pipe? So there's only one requirement underneath any piping laid in a trench, and it has to do with stone or rock. There can't be a rock within how many inches of the bottom of the pipe? Matt Muse, rock under the pipe. Three inches. Three inches. All right. That's it for there. That was a pass. 